So a bit of Red Star news today. Uh, Jelko Gavric has been sold uh, to Ferenc Varos, which is a team that plays in Hungary. Uh, the fee was 1.2 million euros plus 20% of next sale, which is kind of popular in the um, Eastern Europe region where, you know, you sell young players for, you know, a million, million and a half, even two, and then you you know, get a percentage of uh, his next sale from his new team to a different team. Uh, but to kind of backtrack a little bit, uh, there were rumors that Gavric was leaving Red Star even last winter. Uh, Atalanta and Track Frankfurt were interested. There was another Italian team, I think maybe Genova or, or Torino or something like that. I can't remember exactly now. Uh, but he did have some suitors. Um, Red Star hung on to him, thinking that he was a part of their plans going forward. He was only 19 uh, at that point. Um, you know, this year starts, he doesn't play much, he's not even in the squad. Now the question is, maybe he was even sold prior to the season starting, and then he was used in the last game, um, Champions League qualifying as a sub late on. Um, but in in contrast, in comparison, you know, you could have got three or four million for him. Instead, now you got 1.2 and 20% of his next sale. So his stats from last year, 31 matches, eight goals, three assists. Uh, he's predominantly a left winger. He can play. He can play right wing. Uh, then you know he could play left midfield, right midfield as well. But he's predominantly a left winger. It's where he does his. Um, it's where he does his best work. Uh, his first appearances were in the 2019-20 season, where he had a goal and two assists in nine matches. Um, he has some flair to his game, not too much. Uh, certainly, he has the ability to get by defenders with his speed. He has a solid shot from distance, which we saw. He had a really good goal. I think it was last season or maybe even his even in the 19 um, 2019 20 season i can't remember exactly he had a really nice goal that that he scored from from distance um like i said we saw that displayed a, a few times his passing abilities is really good it can use some work um sometimes sends passes too early doesn't read the game really well uh he's calm and composed in front of neck for for a young player that's always um, something that you have or something that you eventually want to, you know, get them to learn. He already has that at the age of 20. Um, like I said, uh, as I looked at this Ferenc Vodders team, their leading goal scorers, scorers last season were actually two uh, left, left wing players. And in their top five, they had two left wingers and I think two right midfielders. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see where he kind of fits in with this team. I believe Ferenc Vodros is in the playoff of the Champions League qualifying or Europe League. I'm not too sure if I'm wrong. Please correct me in the comments. Um, but it'll be interesting to see where he kind of fits in. And for me, this was... Uh, I would have hung on to him if I was Red Star for another season because uh, in that attacking third, Red Star has had trouble this season scoring and just generating um, play a lot of players out of form. When you look at every match, Kate and Nimenech are going to be starters. And then, you know, Falco hasn't had a really good season. Benz had an awful start to this season. Um, I get that, you know, Kanga could play as attacking midfielder. Then you have Ivanich and Katai on the wings. So you can do that. But I would have liked if we had given uh, Gavric a bit more of a chance to, to, to play this season. Um, like I said, his stock has completely plummeted since, you know, we're being offered three to four million um, Euros last winter and this summer, um, but at least he gets to go. He does. He's not going far from home. Hungary being pretty close to Serbia, um, so he's not going far away. And you know, this is this is his time to kind of prove himself because I think no matter you know where he plays, I think he's going to get a chance to play because you don't usually spend um, one point two million on a young player and then not really play him. Uh, and as I look through uh, Ferenc Varosh's is, is um, you know purchases they do spend they do spend quite a bit of money uh, this summer alone I, I think they signed a player for 2.5 million and another one for 2 million and probably a bunch of others but um like they're not shy about their money and they spend and you know they've been in europa league uh, i think a couple times in the last few years so they do they do have high ambitions uh, as a club uh, robert mack plays there who's a slovakian um he brings a lot of experience so it's going to be interesting to see where Gavric fits in with this team. It's going to look funny now if he goes to a different team that's in Champions League qualifying and he actually gets a chance uh, to prove himself versus, you know, in Red Star where he was, 
uh, bench player for most of this season. He does have some some injury concerns, I guess, um, but he was left out of the squad for pretty much all of the matches this season. So I'm very eager to see how he does. I wish him all the best. Like I said, I wish uh, he was offered a bigger role at the club in Red Star to prove um, his worth and his qualities. I really like them. And yeah, I just wish him all the best in Hungary.